By the way, I've been leveling up, guys. As you can see, pure leather armor. How do I do that? Nope, that's definitely not it. There you go. Looking good out here. Although, you know, it's a slightly better look. And I, I do this from time to time. Just looking more dangerous, more ripped. Like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> What is going on guys, Unite the Clans here, back in EO Life, with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I tamed a Parasaur, currently working on getting enough, uh, ooh, uh, currently working on getting enough hide to make a saddle for it. I've made, a, I tamed a couple other Parasaurs recently and they both died, so I went for a higher level one this time. Actually, you have leveled up, I'm not naming it right now, I don't want to get too attached this thing, uh, I think we're gonna go with stamina. That's usually a good thing. That's a big difference in stamina. That's cool. Uh, and you know what I think I spotted? I thought I spotted. Yes. Is the Ichiosaur, which is a f friendly, uh, sea dinosaur, a marine dinosaur. Is that what you are? Yes, you're an Ichi. Okay, if I can convince him to come up on the shore. I had one up here earlier. I don't know if it's him or not. Yeah, dead Mega Piranha. Get wrecked. Uh, I was taming one earlier. If I can get this guy to come up near the shore, we can tame him. It's going to take a little while. No, nope, he's gone. He is completely gone. Good news, no sharks. No uh, Mega Sharks, whatever you call them. Megalodons. Oh, there. Is that him? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's see if I can do it. There's a little spitter. We're going to dodge, duck, and dive. The other thing that I wouldn't mind checking out, oh, make sure I don't starve to death, is the Gallimimus. Do you remember that scene from Jurassic Park where all those ostrich-looking dinosaurs are, uh, like, stampeding? And then uh, Sam Neill and the kids, they hide behind a rock, and there you are. Come near me. We I have a saddle for this guy. It was in our base. I'm not sure if Felris leveled up, unlocked the engram, and made it, or if a neighboring tribe, hey, gave it to us. Hey, Parasaur, can you handle this situation, buddy? I think you should be able to. I'm gonna get busy taming this itchy. Come here. Let's, uh, get the spear out of my hand. And if I think if I have meat on the hotbar, I don't know if that attracts it. I've also made a shield. I'll show you that in a second. As long as there's no piranha around here. No, no piranha at all. Okay. Hello. Okay, hey. Oh, you see how quick that was? Feed raw meat to tame. This is one of the creatures you can friendly tame. Wait until it's hungry again. Okay, cool. So we're going to do that. I guess we're going to keep an eye on him. He'll probably come right up to shore once we've started feeding him. Para clearly handled that situation. See, I don't want to name it. If I name her, I'll get a attached to her. And I've killed too many parasaurs in my day to get attached to one. They're good early stages. Before you can tame a raptor, I can now. By the way, I've been leveling up, guys. As you can see, pure leather armor. How do I do that? Nope, that's definitely not it. There you go. Looking good out here. Although, you know, it's a slightly better look. And I, I do this from time to time. Just looking more dangerous, more ripped. Like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> there. There's the itchy. I think it's a long time. But with the, you know, the higher taming speed. I think we're 2.0 taming. I'm wondering, you know, it might be, might not take quite as long to do. Normally it's like, you know, minutes in between each. We'll see. You hungry again? Are you hungry again? No, I don't think so. Um, what can I show you while we wait for this guy? Uh, well, leave the Parasaur here. Get up on shore. Um, a whistle, just so I don't lose the itchy. There. You hungry again? You might be hungry again. Come here. Wild. Nope, still not. Okay, I thought maybe if he came up on shore... That's all right. Well, we'll, we'll play it by ear. I've done this once, but I think it died right away, and I never made the saddle. So why don't I head back towards the base? We'll, we'll circle back here in a minute. Uh, I actually have a little bit of a, a base, a, a mini base I was working on out here. More of a hunting lodge. Uh, there it is. Yeah. So just a little, you know, one by one foundation. Mostly wood, and then I built this. We'll call it a hunting lodge. I've got a sleeping bag. I've got gear there to make a tranquilizer. Oh, that's not how you climb ladders in this game. That is. So, and then you can get up here, and if you had your bow and arrow out, right, you could, you know, just be ready to go. Be ready for action up here. 
and keep a good eye on things. Uh, but I guess we're taming that thing. I don't want to hang around here too long. Uh, no. Okay, well, let's go back and see if that itchy's ready for another bite. If he is, uh, I'll, uh, I'll feed him up. And then maybe while uh, we're waiting, after we feed him this time, I'll take you back to the main base, the big base, and I'll show you what I've been working on over there, because I have made some improvements since the last time you would have seen it. Are you up and out of the water? You look beat up. What's going on over there? Is that a glitch? Or is that the itchy? He looks like he's floating and dead. Yeah. Well, I guess that's not how this episode's going now. Maybe it was Mega Piranhas. Maybe a shark rolled up in here. Maybe he accidentally picked a fight with that turtle and got his butt kicked. But unless there's another one, that's probably the guy that we were after. It seems like it is. Okay, well. Well. All right, well. <laughs> I'm speechless now. I thought I had a plan for this episode. I know. We'll head back to base shirtless. Uh, on the way, if we can kill anything, gather a little more, uh, hide. I think I need a little more wood and a little more, what's the other ingredient of the saddle? Because I'd love to saddle this parasaur up, uh, so we had some sort of medium range transportation. Uh, until I can get a raptor tamed, which I could do. I just need to get, turn some of my arrows into tranquilizer. Oh, you're not following me. Come on, buddy. You coming? Is he coming? There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, it's fun being back in this game, guys. I'm enjoying building. You'll see when we get back there that I've, I've, I've decked out the base a little bit and uh, made some made some uh, adjustments. We finally got a, a working upstairs, and I'm slowly unlocking all of the engrams for building because I have a much bigger build. I feel like I, I have barely done anything with tiny builds like that little uh, hunting lodge that I showed you. Um, or, uh, or even with our big house out here, I really want to build something big and massive. So I'm currently scouting locations on this kind of north end of the island for places to build a big, uh, big, big base. Maybe, hey, let's run. Let's not mess around with these fools. There's compies, these little tiny, have I shown you guys these? I think, yeah, I think that parasaur should be able to handle them, but they're really, really obnoxious. A pain in the butt to outrun too. Okay, how's my parasaur doing down there? Oh, hey, there's that Gallimimus. Oh, there, stupid compies. They're just invisible until you see them. Okay, fine, I'll get out a spear and I'll wreck you fools. You think you got the kind of range that you can tangle with this? I got spears for days. Actually, I only have one spear. Get wrecked. There, Jesus. I hope my parasaur, yeah, you're, he's done. Oh, that's good. Breaking spears. Uh, there's that Gallimimus. So this is the thing I was talking about. I wouldn't mind trying to tame one of these. Hmm. All right, maybe, maybe uh, that's a low level one. I wonder if I just take my baseball bat, if we could, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We'll wait, we'll go make some trank arrows. Maybe I'll come back and see if this guy is still here. I gotta cook some food, too. Um, I do have to get us a little more set up. Guys, why don't I take a minute? I will leave you here. I'll head back to the base with uh, Parasaur the Parasaur. And uh, I'll show you the base when I get back there. And then we'll set out and see if maybe we can't maybe mess with that Gallimimus. It'll be fun. All right, I will see you on the flip side. Uh, I guess... We're going to head down and see if we can find that Gallimimus. I'm not sure. Why don't we bring the para? Uh, or do we also bring Bort? I don't know what to do. Yeah, we'll bring you for sure. Uh, what is the... Follow? Yep. And we'll, we'll bring along Bort too. I mean, we could ride this guy if we ever had to. But uh, he's a little slow. Uh, so he's better as a follower when stamina isn't a big deal and he can just chase after you. At will. Okay, you guys come with me. You coming with me? Let's go. Whew. Uh, so, I mentioned wanting to build a really big house. 
I've been looking at a few spots. One is up, obviously, on this ridge, which would be across that one, but that won't be constrained in the same way where it's so slopey and so narrow that you're not going to be able to build a giant place. Uh, what you really need is a big flat area. So there's a spot across the north coast of this map that I've been thinking about. It's like if you just keep following this beach until you run out of beach. In fact, I think you can see the edge where you start to run out of beach there. Up on that cliff, if you were to clear off all the trees, you'd have a magnificent view and a lot of area to work with. Bort, you coming? He's coming. Um, and uh, and then there's another one. If you go down here into that last bay, not this first one, but the, the further bay right in about the center of the screen, going up into the woods just with the mountain on your right, there's a really nice trail. And it seems like uh, it's big and fairly flat. It might be a cool spot to uh, to build. Uh, I have I have giant building plans in mind, but we'll we'll take it slow and steady, and we'll see what we can accomplish in between each and every episode. Today is a taming episode, and I had a taming episode in the second episode as well. Well, we'll see if it's a taming episode. I still got to track down a Gallimimus and then subdue it and then tame it, which all of those things I still have yet to do. So. Well, I guess I did see a Gallimimus very briefly, and he was just up over this ridge. So I'll bring these these two with me. These two, uh, is it, are they both boys? I think you're a boy. What does it say? Yes, fellas. These fellas with me. I wouldn't want to misgender them, if that's a term. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go looking for another creature to add to this little force. Oh, compies. God dang. You know what's fun, though, is when I let a compy attack me. Go ahead. Are you gonna? Are you gonna attack anything? Maybe I'll attack you. There you go. Wreck him, guys. Oh, Bort might be on passive. Neutral. Okay. Attack my target. He messes up compies. Did I do it right? Yeah, I've seen him just launch them into outer space. It's amazing. I can't believe how much durability those compies have. Like, these guys are still going. These two giant beasts. Okay, play it cool. Play it cool. Watch out, big fella coming through. Jeez Louise, that Bronto is giant. The scale in this game is... There, found him. Found them. Now they're fast as hell, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go. And I'm going to have to put these guys on neutral, which means they will stand down when I attack. But if that thing were to attack me or something else were to uh, attack back, uh, or were to attack, yeah, uh, if like, if the Gallimimus were to strike back, God, I'm not doing that much good talk in this episode. That giant Bronto, it gets loud as hell too. It's just annoying. Uh, Anyway, so these guys are on neutral, which means they'll defend me, but they won't attack what I'm attacking, which is good. And I'll still got them to follow, but what I'm worried about is how... Let's wait, let's wait, wait, wait. Let's go get a look, close look, and we'll see what level this beast is. What level are you? Level four. Oh, okay, more compies in the hood. Nope. Okay, that's what the noise it makes. That's cool. Oh, and there's a raptor. All right. Uh, we could have an embarrassment of taming riches. Let me try and take... This Gallimimus down. I missed. Okay, I'm gonna go get that arrow. We'll see. If that raptor... The problem is, I'd have to put these guys on passive to do that raptor. Because he's gonna come back at me. He'll, uh... Whoops. Yeah, the raptor will, uh, will attack when I start attacking him. And if I've got these guys on that setting... Oh, no, no. Okay. We'll just chase him until he gets stuck, maybe? I don't know. I haven't done one of these before, to be totally honest. Where'd you go? And it's when you get led into the woods that scares me. Because next thing you know, some Carno is right on top of you. That's why you got to bring some guys with you to protect. Because if a Carno were to just drop down on me right now, I would have so much trouble finding my damn stuff. Oh, well... Maybe we go back. Maybe I put these guys on passive and we see if we can't subdue a raptor. Are you stuck, guy? Yeah, I think you're stuck. Alright, follow me, fools. Follow me back to the beach.
This is exactly the crap that used to happen last time I played, where you start and you sit down and you think you know what, how you're going to record an episode, and then just, let's tame an itchy sore. No, let's tame a Gallimimus. No, let's tame a Raptor. Okay, dehydrating. No problem. We are back on his trail. The only thing is, I don't really feel all that comfortable trying to take down one of these guys with the Trank Arrows because he's so fast. I mean, I have had animals where I shoot them once or twice, and that's enough. Right? Okay. Yes. Oh, he might be stuck. He might be stuck. Get out the baseball bat and just start clubbing him to death. I think we might have done it. Yes, unless she breaks free. Unless she breaks free, she going down. I'll take it. God, that's hideous. I'll be back. So this is a different one. The first one was a level 4. This one's level 28. It's going to take it a while to go down. Uh, I've already broken a couple baseball bats, smacking the hell out of it. Yeah, this is pretty gruesome. Incredibly. This. Yeah. Oh. Well, that didn't go well. Uh, I was trying to make it unconscious. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. Back in your lives with another episode of The Flame and the Flood. This is episode three. In episode two, I died via snake bite. <laughs> 